how to add gradients to the swatches panel in Affinity Designer. The key panel is the swatches panel. So go to the view menu, studio and swatches. At the top of the swatches panel, you've got the categories. Go to the gradients category. You also have greys, colours and many more. With a shape layer selected, go over to the swatches panel and click any of those gradients to change the fill. By default, the panel has very few gradients. To start, create a shape as a container for the gradient. Go to the swatches panel and click on one of the gradients. Go to the tools panel and click on the fill tool. In the example, the type is linear. You can change it to radial, etc. You can see little circles on the line. They're the gradient stops. Click anywhere else on the line to add new stops. With each new stop, go over to the swatches panel and click on one of the solid colors, orange, green, etc. Once you're happy with your gradient, go to the tools panel and select the move tool. Go back to the swatches panel and you will see the current fill is set to your gradient color. In the swatches panel, go to the categories and set to gradients. Next to that, there is a button, add current fill to palette. Click it to add your current gradient. Go to tools panel and fill tool and now modify the gradient. Any changes you make to the gradient are not reflected in the swatches panel. Add additional stops to your gradient. Also move the gradients as well as change the colors. You can find other videos on the Graphic Extras channel about how to do that. The swatches panel also saves the type. So if you've got the type set to linear, that will be what it will be saved with. Once you're happy with your gradient, you can now save it to your palette. Go to the tools panel and select the move tool. Go back to the swatches panel, set the category to gradient and click the add current fill button. The gradient is added to the palette. The gradient swatch can now be used with all other shape layers, etc. Select the object, go to the swatches panel and click the gradient. You can then manipulate it further with the fill tool. I hope you have found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Designer and Photo. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Please add a comment or two, as well as a dislike or like. Thank you very much.